Good morning everybody. So today we have two heaters, but I'm going to start with this one because it looks interesting. I have no idea what heater is inside, but it's very heavy. So I don't even know water heater, air heater. I don't know. So um, we will start unpacking. We have absolutely no information of what the problem is, what the heater is. And actually, this heater stood here for a week because we received them, nobody called us, we didn't know everything, nothing about them. So after one week, the customer, oh man, I sent you some heaters, but I forget to write and whatever. So let's see. Now this is really heavy. Could be that we have a 5 kilowatt heater here, air or something else and yeah it's interesting to see what this will be all right so we have five meters of bubble wrap okay now we have some cardboard here it is an electronic, I can see by the by the connector, and then maybe it's a 5 kilowatt one. So we, I think we never had this heater here on the channel. I have one gasoline heater and uh, it has a really interesting uh, failure and now it was sent to Germany because it was burning the glow plugs. You put in a new glow plug and it burns it. And whatever I did, I didn't manage to find the cause and we sent it back. So for that heater I have no idea what's in the future but yeah, let's see what's with this one. So we have no idea what's the problem. We see some blackness here. Actually, the heater is not that, not that, but it's that old, but it looks great. So the heater is from 2013. Yeah, but it looks really nice. So I guess somebody took good care of it. So what should we do now? Uh, the thing is, these heaters are obsolete and uh, they are not producing them anymore. They did until last year, but now we have a new generation of heaters, which are six kilowatts, not uh, five like this. Yeah, and um, all the parts are, we can find all the parts. It's a new generation, it's smaller more compact and so on. Actually, this is an electronic which is kind of a hybrid between the old DLC heaters and the new electronics. The new electronics, uh, so it has the electronics from the new electronics. Well, I now make rhymes. And uh, everything else is from the old DLC family. I'm not even going to open it until we put it on the test bench and uh, see what the problem is. I must find a pump for this, but that's no problem because I think we still have some of these heaters left for a project and I can get a pump from there. All right, we, uh, I will see you outside on the test benches. There's not much really we can say from here. Okay, let's see at least how the fan is well, we cannot hear anything on the bearing side, so let's see. Probably after this time it needs a little bit of attention, maybe a glow plug. There are some gaskets inside that I think we should change if the heater is already here and not send it back like this, even if it has no problem. Um, one thing to mention, these heaters do need a little bit more power than the other ones and uh, who knows maybe this is just a problem maybe maybe an oxidized 
uh, battery connection or something like that. Yeah. All right. So let's go outside and test it. All right. So we have the heater mounted on the test bench. I found the fuel pump and everything I need. Yeah. And uh, we will go into diagnostics and try to see if uh, we have any faults so we will select heater and uh, we will do an automatic detection of the heater but i believe maybe no not here uh, this should be in the electronic yeah here it is and um, let's go into general data and here we have glow plug interruption and set point value <laughs> Well, we don't care about the set point value because that's the problem of anyone who mounted the heater. Okay, we will delete the errors. Yes. Okay, so we will close this and uh, we will go back to, to the um, heater and we will do a functional check to see if we have the error again and everything is so slow because i have a really old desktop here running the program yeah we will do the site point from here and let's see i can hear the fan from here set point let's put a set point of 25 at least yeah, and we have a glow plug interruption. So it's, uh, let's see how the glow plug looks. Yeah, it's pretty easy for this. The glow, glow plug for this heater, we have it right under this uh, rubber thingy. All right, so it's 19. Yeah, I also bought, I brought 18, but it's not. Okay, so 19. I have such almost non experience with these heaters. Let's see. All right. And this is a type of glow plug. If it's interrupted, we should see it right away. Oh, yeah. And it is. Look at this. Huh? Can you see? Yeah, and the interruption is right here. So this is really easy to diagnose, but we can see that there is also some dirt inside. So I believe we should also change the screen. Yeah, and we can see there is some dirt here. I don't know. It's not really lighting inside, yeah? Oh, let me turn on this let's see it like this can you see inside yeah there are some deposits there so um, I think we should take the heater apart and uh, change also the gaskets and what's inside hopefully we do have them yeah I will go check for spare parts well, let's open it anyway, because there is no uh, way around it. So we have to take out the top side. Here we have the nut from the glow plug. And I should do this in a way that it's faster.
And there is this aluminum plate. Which is now out. Or it should come out. Let's see. Oh, and there is... There is a pipe here. I think we need to push this. I think there is an O-ring, if I remember from the other heater. <sighs> All right, we need a screwdriver, maybe. One like this. And it's not coming out like that. So let's see. We need to pull and push at the same time. And it's not really working. Okay, it did move. So there is a pipe here directing the air into the burner and it's held. It comes through to this piece. It's a flexible thing, just like a shower holes and we are almost out I don't know if there is a better way to do this we are trying to push it out I don't want to pull on it too hard all right I think it gave away so you can see there is a thingy here this hole it's fine inside and we have this flexible pipe here yeah with an o-ring and that's what's going through that and that o-ring is holding the this thing to go through easily so maybe we will have to lubricate a little bit so what's here yeah you can see this gasket should be in one piece and it's not so how to take it out like this all right so we do have things inside here oh and it goes around this pipe also yeah and we also have a gasket like this This is just the marks and this one should be changed also. This actually looked almost good, but we will change it since we opened the heater. And inside, it's not that bad. So actually there is a little bit of carbon, but nothing, nothing uh, we need to worry about. This usually cleans itself out. There's no really much way to get inside it because everything is encapsulated. And now we will take out the screen. The screen has a, a thing you can pull on. And it should, you should be able to take it out. And I can see it's stuck. So we will try to pry it away with a screwdriver. Uh, there, there is some hardened carbon here. And probably the screen is stuck inside. So we will just make a little bit of space. We will try to free it up from here before taking it out let's see and nothing so I guess this we should have changed anyway but I will let you see how it's inside yeah so we have to free up the screen from those deposits because it's not moving but 
but it's easier said than done, unfortunately. <laughs> Some would say that it's hard to change this from electronic the new ones D2, D4. But I don't see this easier. Also, and keep in mind, okay, so we break something. It, it, huh. All right, so let's see, maybe this one will come easier. We just need some way to grab it and it fell apart yeah so we will try now yeah let me try to focus on this one yeah so it is time to change it good and i will show you how the new one looks all right so surprisingly we have all the parts even this o-ring from uh, this tube so this is what we will change first because it's a little bit harder to do yeah you can see it right there there is an o-ring yeah that black thingy here right here so this uh, we will change with a new one and i'm just trying to find something with a really fine tip like this screwdriver and we will take down the old o-ring almost down yeah all right actually i think this could have been left alone but if we have it why not put the new one here and we have 30 30 picks on stock and not really demand for it so why not change it and um, we also have the gaskets also this felt gasket so i believe this comes next yeah so it's kind of felt like a wool this one comes here in the center yeah hopefully you can see it i will try to come a little bit closer so that's the second part and now we need to put this gasket hopefully i will not damage it so there was a little bit of dirt inside but we managed to clean it nicely and uh, now let's just see which way this comes and i believe this is the only way and actually we see some holes here that we need to align Okay, so there are some things here and which we can fix the gasket. Ah, this is great. I was thinking how will I manage to put this gasket here. Yeah, so this is fine. It's a good engineers from the past did a way better job of course the costs probably were higher when designing something like this and that's it and now we put this we just had a power fluctuation all right so it's really hard yeah, but it's in, it's in, 
we are inside i don't think this needs to come more outside oh yeah now it's i think this is the maximum it comes out hopefully this is the right way to do it is there anything where it stops no it's just like that all right i believe it was something like this when we took it apart but there is something holding here so probably this is the good position it's not really a fixed one now we will put back the screws from the from this plate actually quite easy there are a lot of screws but assembling the heater itself should be easy we also have the glow plug and the screen all right so now we will use some torque setting just not to break the screws because if you break a screw here in the heat exchanger then, then it will not be good so this one is giving us a hard time and uh, i will probably do it by hand makes more sense at least for these four because by hand you can uh, really feel it how much the screw is tightened it's fine double check the other ones fine 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 okay so all four screws are set we will check again to see that everything is seated as it should all right so we are done with that and already time for the blower there's nothing else here i didn't change this gasket we do have this gasket but this one is fine and uh, this type of gaskets are somehow getting glued to the blower and it will come down piece by piece and it's a really messy job but it's fine it's it's it looks perfect so there is really no reason to change it all right and this thingy comes right here and takes air from here now let's see what is the position and i believe this this little thing here will push down the on the pipe exactly to the level it needs so yes and i can i can feel it's it's uh, having some re rebound yeah you can see so it will push the that pipe exactly in the position it should be it's pretty self-explanatory anyway this video is getting longer than i would love to so we cleaned everything inside here as much as we could we took care that all the holes and the channels inside are clean yeah so there is a hole here for the air a hole down there for the fuel and also if you can see there is a channel here that is going around in that place 
so that has to be clean in order for the fuel to go around the screen just a second i will take out the screen from its box and uh, i don't see any position that is set or should be what i will do is not to have these welding spots on the way to the to the holes where the fuel and the air comes in so i will turn it a little bit like this and i don't think besides that anything really matters for the position this should go in really nice yeah and you see how easy it goes in when it's not full of dirt and like we almost we had a real problem taking it out everything's fine and we have here also the new glow plug and i'm doing this now by one hand so you can see everything closer because this was actually the original problem the screen and the glow plug but we also changed the gasket the gasket the green one the big one as you saw it was in pieces yeah it's there in the dirt and uh, this is the new glue pl glow plug yeah if we compare it to the old one there is a little bit of difference yeah okay so we have a graphite gasket right here and this needs to be in one piece okay so i will tighten this glow plug and uh, put everything together as it was and we will see outside on the test bench to see if we did a good job or not all right so we hear the pump starting and the heater is trying to start I guess it has a bigger threshold for low voltages than the newer electronics the pump is working fuel is going to the heater and we can hear the heater start it has this nice whistling sound all right really interesting sounds I don't know it should have started because the exhaust is again under voltage I also have the ad adapter connected for diagnosis and there is also a voltage drop there let me see what can I do I'm just waiting for the heater to stop so this is what I'm talking about I see this is a an adapter so we can connect diagnostics but but it's not okay even here something is heating up so the wires are heating up yeah it's it's the connection is is too weak let's see here now here everything's fine no it is not heating up so we have a lot of voltage drop because of this adapter i will take it down so the next way to start the heater is i removed the diagnostics and we will start it from here from the controller on on off now on, on okay let's increase the temperature okay so let's see if it will work like this we cannot monitor the voltage this way but let's see if it starts hopefully there isn't such a voltage drop and i think right here where the positives and negatives are together this is where we have the drop because it was warmer here this cable yeah. 
hopefully we will not have problems like this. It is starting, we can see some smoke. And this is just a glow plug, the pump is not running right now. Okay, we have lift off. Let's see. We could have an amp meter here to see when the glow plug is switching off. Let's see, where is it? Yes, yeah, it's here. Actually, this is quite a good tool for so many things. All right, we selected DC, zero, and we will put it here on the positive line to see All right, so we have 19 amps. This is really much for this heater. Yeah, so this is why these heaters are not produced anymore. Could be that the heater is not seeing flame. Okay, now the heater is spinning up. All right. And now we, the amps are gone from the glow plug, which means it stops and the heater can start full power, yeah, which it does. It's running. We have a current consumption of 6 amps, almost 6.5 and, and we can understand why these heaters are not really desired anymore and had to be changed. It's really big, big current consumption, yeah? 7 amps, about that, so it's 80 watts. Yeah, the heater is 80 watts, so... Yeah, it's correct. The current consumption is correct. However, when starting, it's almost triple. So really high uh, current consumption on starting. Yeah, but it is working fine. It's really nice. It's, it has that whistling sound, which all these type of heater do. These older types, but there is no smoke and it's nice so we will leave it running for a little bit and come back with the conclusions all right so our work with this heater is done it's working fine for about 15 minutes we don't need to test it anymore because if there was a problem we should have seen it and it was obvious when it came what the problem was quite surprised the guys didn't even try to fix it or take it apart well anyway it's a good thing that we had this heater because i never had this one on my channel so at least we have something different than all those electronics yeah so i will stop the heater now yeah pack it send it back to the customer and that's it hopefully it will have a long and happy life yeah thanks for watching guys bye bye